The Detroit Fire Department showing off some brand new equipment, some of it customized to help in situations where air tanks need to be refilled yeah. pretty quickly. Uh, other parts of it now needed specifically because of the queue line. Nick Monticelli reports the first rig will be on the street in just a few weeks. Well, welcome inside of DFD's maintenance shop where they repair everything that needs its repairs. Now, this is their pride and joy right now, DFD Air One. And yes, it does have things specific to the queue line, but it can do so much more than that. There's going to be two of these units, so there'll be a sister Air Two as well. Detroit Deputy Fire Commissioner David Fornell is pretty proud of Air One. After all, he designed it. Its main purpose, as you might guess, is air refilling the tanks firefighters use while inside a fire. We can start it up, and um, and then we fill the air banks. And so what you see here are these cylinders in the next compartment. While that may seem like a simple task, it wasn't up until now. The process was a huge waste of time and resources. At this particular point, you'd have to call extra companies in, and they, they would take their air bottles, or we would have to, say, load up a squad and take it back to a firehouse and, and fill them there. Turn them all on. There's also an extremely bright, extendable light tower to help at night, even an explosion-proof smoke fan. But there are also plans in case of a Q-line emergency. For one, the Q-line runs on high-voltage lithium-ion batteries. If there was a fire, water would make it worse, so chemical suppression is necessary. And right now, they only have small 30-gallon chemical tanks. What you would need is like this dry chemical. It doesn't conduct electricity, but you'd be able to knock down quite a bit of quite a bit of fire and put it out. Also, worst case scenario, if something or someone is hit by a Q-line car and pinned underneath, each car weighs approximately 88,000 pounds, and Air One will have specialized airbags with the strength to lift the Q-line up. Well, the airbags are only about this thick, and so we would be able to put them underneath, and then they just inflate. It looks like a big pillow, but they're all Kevlar and, and steel reinforced inside, so it's, it's, it's a very heavy, thick, uh, rubber bag. All horrible things to think about, but it's their job to be prepared. In Eastern Market, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. It looks like there will be. The Detroit Fire Department was able to build these new rigs with refurbishment funds that were uh, already available.